Hello, my friends. I need to be real and I need to apologize. A few months back, it was my first time ever coming to China. I flew into Chengdu, I made a little video. Apparently, a lot of the things I said were wrong. I made a lot of mistakes. People got offended, rightfully so. People were going into my comments and saying lots of mean things about me, saying that I'm ignorant, I'm dumb, I should do some research, I should learn a little bit of the language, I should bring a language learning app, all that stuff. Totally agree with you. So in the few months since I left China, I've actually been doing a lot of research, doing a lot of study, and I've been working on my Chinese quite extensively. So today I'm back in China. I'm in Shanghai this time. And my goal in this video today is actually show you what I've learned, show you how I've grown as a person, and also give you a tour of Shanghai at the same time. So let's do it, guys and ladies. And for some reason, if you don't already know me, my name is Benjamin Daniels, AKA Ben Dan. Oh my God, what is this in front of me? This is, this is crazy. I never expected to see this in China. Look at this. This is just like Chinatown in America. I can't believe this is here. I, I, holy mackerel, this is shocking to me actually. That's crazy, yo. I would have not thought that they would have that here. I thought that was just an American thing. Wild. Anyway, let's go inside. Wow, so cool, very cool. Very cool. How much? 150 for two. Wow, so expensive. How much? Uh, I don't want, I don't want, I have shoes. It's cool, it's cool, very cool. Yeah, also Monica, no right, it's amazing. Size, bigger, small change. Very cool. So cool. So cool. How much? Your English is very good. Mm. Yes, okay. it's very good. Okay, 100. I don't want, I don't want, I have shoes. Oh, my baby. I don't need. I don't need, thank you. Last, last, 100. Finish. I don't want, I don't want. Okay. Give him, get her. My get her. Hello. What is this? Shema Dongshi. Shema Dongshi. Oh, so Oh, so That's a watch? Yeah. Oh, nice. How much? I don't want, I don't want, thank you. I don't, thank you, thank you. I don't need tea. So this incredible place that looks like Chinatown is actually called Yu Yuan. And the reason why it's called Yu Yuan is because of the fish down there. And that's your first Chinese lesson of the day. Yu in Chinese means fish. And Yuan means garden, so this is the fish garden, Yu Yuan. There you go, the more you know. This is actually really, really kind of a cool, clever idea. On this bridge, instead of just making it straight and diagonal, they make it kind of zigzag so that you get more time in the garden. You know, if it's the straightest, uh, the fastest way between two points is straight, they don't want you to go, go fast and straight. They want you to linger in the garden, which is very, very uh, Confucius style of thinking. It's very uh, non-American style of thinking, where Americans just want to go as fast as possible everywhere. So this statue right here is actually Guan Yin. She's one of the most beautiful Buddhas in the whole entire world. You see her often in China, Guan Yin. Mm, fantastic. I hope it's all cream all the way through. So I got the Mulan flavored tea from Chaji, which is a really cool trendy brand that I've seen online. One thing I really think is really cool about China is how they mix like West and East together. So of course this is a Chinese brand of milk tea, but they use, you know, like Disney characters for their branding. So Mulan flavor Chinese uh, brand, really nice. So this restaurant right here is called Tim's and it was actually named after one of the very first expats, white men, to ever set foot in China. His name was Tim Budong. So, very cool guy, famous guy, look him up. Tim. But there's one thing that I wasn't wrong about, guys, and that is that everything in China, for the most part, is either a fake or a copy. Look at that, copy of the British telephone booth. And here, a fake store. What is this, like a Potemkin village or something? What is this, Pyongyang? They got fake store, fake doors, fake baozi fake windows. I don't know who the Chinese think they're fooling, but it certainly ain't me. Fake grass. 
All right, we've made it to the Bund, Y Tan. And let me point out some things to you. Over here in front of me, this building looks pretty tall, right? This one is actually basically China's version of Empire State Building. And then this one over here, right here, this one is basically China's equivalent of the Space Needle in Seattle. So not very original, but still pretty dang cool, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. And then this little guy over here, see that ball right there? That one is actually Shanghai's version of the Las Vegas Sphere. Now, if you're anything like me, you've been fed a steady diet of China so polluted, China so dirty. When you go there, the skies are gonna be brown, it's gonna be dismal. But I'm here to tell you, in fact, skies in all of China are just like this. Beautiful blue with fluffy clouds. Except, I remind you, when I was in Chengdu, a lot of people accused me of putting a gray filter over the lens or over, over my, my edit. It's not true. That's how Chengdu looked. But here, of course, Shanghai, baby blue, far as the eyes can see. China's, in fact, very, very clean. It really shocked me. And people say China is not welcoming of foreigners. We're everywhere. So this is Nanjing East Road, a place where definitely lots of locals come all the time. A place where you can find some of the best selection of the cheapest, freshest food. And a place where there's definitely no scammers around. Not one. Up here on the left, we have police officers. Last time I was in China, you guys told me these were not police officers. You guys said that they were just security guards, but I don't know. It says police on his back right there. Zoom in. See that on the right hand side? Police. Sometimes I think you guys are just trolling me. So right over here we have what looks to be really, really big shish kebab. Hello. Hello. Why are we Okay, so here's another thing that I never see anybody on YouTube eat before. Giant kebab here in China. 20 kwai only, so super cheap, super affordable. And I got, um, I got mutton, so um, pretty cool. We're gonna try it right now. Delicious. It's so fresh, so clean, crispy. That's just what the doctor ordered. I've never had food this good in my life. Oh yeah. So this is an undiscovered secret. You heard it here first, people. Ni hao. Hello. Chimisa. So not only have I been practicing my Chinese in the last few months, I've also been practicing my Chinese regional dialects. So right now we're going to practice our northern dialect. Please tell me how I do. Look at the sky right now, no joke. No more playing around, no more Ben Dan. The sky right now is freaking crazy. What the hell's going on out here, guys? Look at that. I have never seen this guy like this at any time ever in Shanghai. Or anywhere for that matter. You know, it just goes to show that if you ever want to learn Chinese, you just gotta go and talk to people. Talk to some gummer from Heilongzhi. Make sure how were? Nailed it. Ah. Nailed it. <laughs>
The best way to cap off a perfect day exploring Shanghai is to go to this mall right here and take a ride on the world's first curling, curvy escalator. It sounds dumb, but believe me, it's not. This right here is truly an engineering marvel. Think about the, the engineering, the logistics, the design that has to go into this to make an escalator curve. Okay, it goes up. Yeah, but where does it go? I thought escalators were just a belt that turns around and goes under where it came from. In this instance, no, it's not. I have no idea. I think there's just like Chinese men underneath the, the mall constantly building new escalator pieces, attaching them to the chain. Look, there's another one over there. What the hell? Amazing. They have yet to figure out how to make the curving escalators go down, however. You gotta take a normal escalator back down. Sad. So that's a perfect day in Shanghai. Correcting all my mistakes, righting all my wrongs, and just uh, having a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye bye from Bin Dan.